News 4 is continuing tracking of the vaccine. Right now, 36% of people living in Missouri are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. But Johns Hopkins scientists say 50, even up to 90% of the population needs immunity before infection rates start to drop. Tonight, the St. Louis area is falling well below that line to create herd immunity. News 4 has the data showing, for example, right now in St. Louis City, some 30% of people are fully vaccinated. When you expand this into St. Louis County tonight, 38% of residents have completed their vaccination. So with vaccination numbers lagging, News 4 is asking, will employers encourage or require workers to get shots? News 4's Russell Kinsall is live tonight with what he's learning about that. Russell? Well, I'm live downtown where there are thousands of workers preparing to come back to their downtown offices. But get this, the federal agency that enforces discrimination, workplace discrimination laws, says it is legal for your boss to require you to get vaccinated before you come back to work. Question is, how many will do that? We're starting July 1. Everyone as far as staff will be back in the office. Jill Butler is owner of Red Key Realty Leaders. She's looking forward to having all her employees back in the office, but won't require them to be vaccinated. We are strongly encouraging everyone to get vaccinated um, just for you know their health and safety. And those who aren't will be required to wear a mask. Employment lawyer and, uh, Russ Riggin explains the employer's point of view on this. They don't want to deal with more disruption of their business and they don't want COVID spreading among their employees. And so what's the easiest way to guard against that? Well, require people to get vaccinations. Riggin says employees can be exempted from a vaccination requirement for health or religious reasons, but be prepared to document your case. Wendell Morgan is against a mandate and he believes it's bad for business. I don't think that that should be required, especially in a scenario where we've got a lot of people that are trying to find employees and they can't find employees. But others have no problem if a boss were to tell them they had to get the vaccine. I would do it so that I can be around more people and get out and lead the normal life we were used to. At Forever Tennis, customers can choose the color of strings for their tennis racket. And owner Travis Bakai also respects his employees' right to choose whether to be vaccinated. I think it's their right to choose if they want to be vaccinated. I'm not going to force my employees to get vaccinated to come to work. In the end, employment lawyer Russ Riggin believes most employers will choose not to require vaccination. Not because it's unlawful, but because I, I think it may be unpopular. You know, does it affect employee morale? So St. Louis University and Washington University have already announced that they will require students and employees to be vaccinated when they return for the fall semester. And students are required to upload a photo of their vaccination card by July 15th. Corey. So, Russell, let's talk about privacy concerns. Does HIPAA protect you from revealing your vaccine status? Yeah, we have heard a lot about the federal law that protects your medical information, but it only applies to health care providers. It does not apply to the workplace. So if you provide proof of vaccination or required to do that, provide proof of vaccination to your employer, they are required to keep that information confidential. But HIPAA does not apply to the workplace. Live downtown, Russell Kinsall, News 4. Russell answering questions a lot of people have. All right, thank you.